Hey everyone, Diana here with In The Pink, where we are your resource to help you find answers to your women's health questions. If this is your first time to this channel, I hope you consider hitting subscribe so you'll always know where to find me for your women's health questions. Today we are doing question of the week. And the question today is, last night I was having sex with my boyfriend. He accidentally put his condom on inside out. He quickly realized his mistake and then switched it right side in, and then we had sex. Afterwards, he or I wasn't sure if the condom had broken or not because the outside was wet as well as the inside. Should I worry about getting pregnant? So that is a good question because it brings out a really important point that I like to talk about, and that is how effective are condoms and should they be your only form of birth control? So how effective are condoms? In perfect use, condoms are 98% effective, but in real life use, they're only about 83% effective. So what's the difference between perfect use and real life use? Well, this, um, this question that we had illustrates a good example of real life use, which means people aren't perfect, they make mistakes, they put it on backwards, um, they uh, use the wrong size, it breaks, they take the condom off too early, they might accidentally puncture the condom maybe while opening the packages, putting on the condom inside out, um, forgetting to check for any um, tears or rips in the condom, not using vaginal lubricant, not using the proper type of vaginal lubricant. Some lubricants can cause the condom to become weaker and to be able to tear more easily. I mean, the list really goes on, but like I said, in the real world, things happen to where condom use doesn't always prevent pregnancy. So to answer the question, Yes, there is a higher chance that you could get pregnant after that sexual encounter because the condom wasn't put on properly at first. If you're sure you don't wanna get pregnant right now, if you're positive that pregnancy right now is not gonna work with where you are in your life, then you might wanna consider using a better and more reliable form of contraception or birth control. There's lots of different options out there for you. There's a birth control pill. If you know that you can take a pill every day consistently, there's also IUDs, there's a NuvaRing, there are patches, there are um, shots that you can do, there are implants that you can do underneath your arm, all of which can be very effective in helping to prevent pregnancy. If you wanna know more about any of these, then make sure you hit subscribe so you're notified when these new videos come out. Just as a reminder, and I will say this a million times in all my videos, even if you are preventing pregnancy, either with a birth control pill or with a, a ring or whatever it is, I recommend that you always use a condom to prevent the transfer of sexually transmitted infections. None of those other options that I just mentioned prevent STIs. And some STIs can be treated with antibacterials, but some sexually transmitted infections are lifelong and they can be managed, but they can't be cured. So I can't emphasize enough, make sure to use a barrier method to protect yourself against sexually transmitted infections. Thanks for watching my video on the question of the week. I hope you found this video informative. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer for my question of the week segment, then put it in the comments below and I will notify you if that's a question that we're gonna use on our videos. Thanks and we'll see you next time.